So this is how you start uh, using harvest. Um, ignore all these extra tabs I have up here. I'm just going to open up my Asana and I'm going to um, go to my tasks. Um, this is just a great list to go to because it's where um, the things that you'll be doing are stored um, and you can assign yourself tasks as well as tasks that are assigned from um, you know, assign yourself specific tasks so that you're recording what you're doing, as well as more even um, whenever there's something repeatable that you're doing, you, then you'll be assigned, you know, assigned. Make sure you get assigned a task from a project. So, for example, this, um, all these projects are tasks that I'm assigned. Uh, all these tasks are within projects that. Um, that are repeatable that we'll do over and over again um, while these ones without the projects aren't. So I'm just going to show you how to use Harvest here. So, um, um, and I'll make an Asana to go with this as well. But you'll click on the, the task that you'll be, that you're working on and then in the in the bar up here there is this uh, stopwatch and you will click on that stopwatch and so I I've already started working on this task um, so it doesn't show it but it would to start working on it a green um, box will appear that says start timer so you click on that start timer to start the task um, or if you're not signed in yet you'll go through the sign in process let me show you that real quick you click sign in and it will open a new uh, page and go ahead and click sign in with Google um, for simplicity now I'm, I'm already signed in with the Google account associated with my harvest so it went ahead and signed in but you may have to click through a couple more steps there and then you'll be signed in and you can start tracking with harvest